Next we will create a role and we will attach a role with a service so that that service will be able to access another service. So we are going to IAM which is Identity and Access Management. So as you can see, we already have few roles here. So let's suppose we are not removing these two roles, we are creating a new role. So go and create a new role. Now you have to choose the service for which service you would like to create a role. Let's suppose you would like to create a role for EC2. For EC2, you would like to create a role. We click on EC2. This is EC2. We go to next permission. And under this role, you have to attach a policy. Let's suppose that policy is S3. So let's suppose under this role, we have attached a policy which is S3 collection. I'll go to the next review. We, I need to specify the name of the role in value S3 role, let's suppose. That's the role name. I'll click on create role. And the role is ready. When we will be using this role, let's suppose if I will create an EC2 instance while creating this particular instance, I can attach a role with this particular instance. So I'm going to launch an instance. I'll choose the next AMI, Amazon Linux. Next instance, configure instance details. Now here you can clearly see that you can choose the role. Our role was in value S3 role. You can select it here also and you can also assign this role later on when this instance will be created. So if you want to assign it from here, you just need to select it like this. If you would like to assign it later on, I'll tell you how to assign it later on. We go to add storage, we'll add storage, add tags, we are specifying it name, server two. Configure security group and we are taking an existing security group which is for EC2 and we will go to review and launch and click on launch the same key that we are taking 10th October key launch instance so the instance will vary within few seconds Yes, we'll type that EC2 dash user. We'll type 
Kita suruh dia si dash Ini untuk font Nah As you can see, if I'm gonna come on for AWS S3 LS It is not going to work We will show you that I'm able to locate credentials So if I will go to the instance, I will go to actions, I will go to instance settings, I will go to attach and replace IAM role and I will attach a role with this particular instance, the name of the role is Intelio S3 role. I will attach it, click on apply, that means we have given the permission to EC2 instance to access S3. And we what we have done the role that we will get the full access. If I go here and if I run the same command now, it will not ask for any credentials. We will just lift the bar. 